friends. I'm back. Like I said, I would be. Look a little different though, right? Y'all like my look? Check out these earrings. I can put the beats below on how you can get these. Super cute, right? And when the light hit it. Of course, my hair is different. Now, I warned y'all before that the Gemini Chronicles are always changing. So, you got to be able to keep up if we're going to be friends, right? Okay. So, today's video. Four reasons why you have more associates than friends. So, let's get into it. Number one, pay attention to your friends list on your social media pages. And pay attention to your call logs. Let's say 700 Facebook friends. Your call log has about five people that you call on a regular. So social media has made it very easy for people to befriend each other. You know, people you went to high school with or college or used to work with. Um, and the crazy thing about it is that we share our most intimate details about our kids and our family and relationships and things like that on social media. And so because you have so many of these people on this friends list, you think you actually have 600 friends. Mm -mm. You have 600 people that want to see what you're doing, who you are with and how, what they have compares to yours. Number two, the reason why you have more associates than friends is that your criteria so everybody you meet won't end up being a friend of yours. Some people may end up being workout partners. Some people, some people may end up being club partners. Some people may be people that you're just in class with and y'all are partners at the time. Um, I don't know about you, but the older I get, uh, my criteria and the things I look for in a friend um, have definitely grown. Um, I have a list that I use. So certain things I look for in a friend. Are you loyal? Are you honest? Are you happy for me when I win? Are you there for me when I lose? Are you open and honest when I need to hear the real news? Are you there for me outside of photo ops on Facebook and Instagram? Just a few of my criteria. I don't know yours. But I suggest you create some. So this way, when you meet people, there's a certain standard that you have when you let people in your circle. Okay. Number three, the reason why you have more associates than friends is because you're afraid to do things solo. As an adult woman, and I'm assuming if you are watching me, you're within my age range. As an adult woman, you have to be comfortable enjoying your own company i.e. taking your own self to dinner, taking your own self to a movie, take a solo trip, start an activity. You don't always need an entourage. The need for acceptance and the need for an entourage is how you collect all these random people and start calling them your friends. So learn how to do stuff for yourself. I may do a video about that later. So what number are we on now, y'all? Okay, friends list versus call list, right? We talked about that in social media. Two. Low criteria. Everybody is not your friend. Three, stop being afraid to do stuff by yourself. It's okay. I enjoy me. And I'm okay going by myself to a movie, going out to eat. It doesn't always have to be a date. It doesn't always have to be a click going out together. And for you single women, you meet more men going solo than in a group. But we'll talk about that another time. Number four, the reason why you have more associates than friends is because you only deal with people who are yes men. You only want people who will boost you up and tell you great things and tell you how good you look and how smart you are and how wonderful you are and how popping your head is. Although my hair is popping, but we're not talking about me right now. The key to a true friendship is someone who can tell you when you're wrong when you need to work on something, are they gonna say, girl, check yourself. A real friend will check you when you are wrong and guide you when you need guidance. Just because they agree with you all the time does not mean they're a friend. In actuality, some people may just say yes to watch you fall flat on your face. 
and then they'll laugh about it in their real friend circle. Just saying. So why is it important to know these things? Um, well, for one, associates are not a bad thing. Uh, it's good to know a lot of different people. And as you grow and the older you get, you'll notice how certain people will be life. What's the, what do they say? It's like certain people are lifetime. Certain people are seasoned. Some people are right now. People you meet in college, you may not even talk to when you get to be 35, 40 and so on and so forth. The way life works, we grow and sometimes we grow apart and that's okay. Uh, but for me, I enjoy having associates because it's a wide range of people that I can interact with. Now, my friend group, my associate group is like this. You can't see it, right? My associate group is like this. My friends list is very small. My friends can contact me off social media. They have my actual phone number. My friends know where I live. My friends know my babies. My friends know how, you know, they know me more so than what I just put on the internet because even though if I do a YouTube channel, that doesn't mean I'm going to tell all my business because Southern girls don't get down like that. But friends and associates have their place in your life. So I'm not saying that associates are bad, but what I'm saying is you need to know who is what to know how to interact with that person. So do we need to recap? One, pay attention to your friends list versus your call list. You'll notice that you have a lot more associates than you do friends. Pay attention to your criteria. Everybody can't be your friend, boo. Some people you just go out for drinks with. Some people you just go to the club with. Some people you just travel with. And it's okay. But everybody you meet, they're not your friend. Stop being scared to do things on your own, boo. You're grown now. Put your lipstick on, your eyeshadow, your makeup, your earrings. In this case, put your wig on because y'all know my hair looked different last time. Make yourself look cute and go out and enjoy. Enjoy your own company. If you don't like your own company, how will somebody else want to be around you? Number four, make sure you're dealing with people who can hold you accountable. Accountable to the things that you say. Accountable to the things that you do. And overall, I want to see you win long term. <laughs> so, that's the recap. I hope this helped you. I hope this gives you a guide on what to look at. Let me tell you something. Some years ago, I had some people that I thought were really long-term friends. And you know when that changed? When my job situation changed and I was making more money than them, or I was in a higher position than them, all of a sudden, we don't talk no more. When I decided to start traveling and doing things that they couldn't do, all of a sudden, the text stopped and the calls slowed down. And nobody wants to talk to you because, again, people are sometimes happy just keeping you in the same box that they're in. And once you climb out of that box, it's no longer fun for them. You're no longer relatable for them. Should we even talk about the fact that some of your friends while you're single will slowly back off of you when you get a relationship? Because that happens a lot. I hate to even get into that, but it happens a lot. When you decide to stop running the street with them and hanging out with them and doing all this random stuff, which is your business. But when you decide to stop doing that and settle down with one person, watch how many people you're not going to hear from and you're not going to talk to. Happened to me. And at first it bothered me, but then I was like, so you were just friends with me because we were in the same situation, right? Okay, good to know. You're going to probably have more associates than friends when you have kids. Because some of your friends or your, the people you're around, they may not be able to relate to the fact that you can't move like you used to move when you have kids. Everything changes, which is why it's important for you to have a clear understanding of where people are in your life. So you know how to move accordingly, right? Anywho, that was my time, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not subscribed, 
click the button down. Um, and I'll see you next time, okay? See ya.